Okay, so again, quick review. Remember, solving quadratics, you're expecting two solutions because they're second-degree polynomials or equations. And remember, there are three ways to solve quadratics. You can factor and then set each factor is equal to zero. You can take the square root of both sides, or you can use the quadratic equation. All right, you should have it memorized. So how does it go? x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. All right, that's just something you should memorize, but you have to remember what the a, b, and c are, and they're the coefficients, so the a is the coefficient of the squared term, the b is the coefficient of the variable of the first power term, the c is the constant when it all equals zero, so it's got to be in that proper format. So let's take a look at an example. So maybe you get a problem like this, and you say, okay, right now it's not in the correct format, it's not in an ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. See, it's got to be in that format. Okay, so what am I going to do? I'm going to add a negative 2x to both sides. Okay, so 2x squared minus 2x minus 5 equals zero. And now I'm ready to do the quadratic equation. So just to help out, let me color code everything. You don't need to do this off to the side. And once you get good at it, there won't be a need. But in the meantime, it's not bad. All right, the coefficient of the squared term is a 2. The coefficient of the variable of the first power term is a negative 2. Be careful, that's important. And the constant is a negative 5. All right, now I'm ready to run the quadratic equation. x equals negative the b value. All right, be careful there. Plus or minus the square root of b squared, what's a negative 2 squared? A 4. All right, I can just do that right off the bat. And then you have this minus 4 and then times a and then times c. And boy, just don't mess up in here. This is called a discriminant. So this is going to be what? a 20 times 2 is 40. So there's a 44 as the radicand. And then remember, that's all over 2 times a. And a is 2. so that's a 4. All right, so let's take a look at this as we go forward. Minus a minus is a plus. Hopefully, you don't have a problem there. All right, what about the square root of 44? Remember, 44 is a 4 times 11. So we can take the square root of 4 and get a 2. And you're left with 2 times square root of 11. And this is over 4. Now, to finish this, you should reduce it. If you know what's going on, you can do the shortcut. Let me show you what to do first, and then I'll remind you of the shortcut. So, or let me show you how you do it without the shortcut first, and then I'll show you the shortcut. Right? You got to split that up. You got to put the 2 over the 4 and the plus minus 2 times square root of 11 over 4. And you can see how this now reduces. That's going to be a half, and that's going to be a 2 down there. All right. So, how would I do that shortcut? I have to remember that this has to be factored with both of these. So again, it's going to leave a 2 on the bottom, a 1 there, and a 1 there. i got to clean this up. So this is x equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 11 over 2. Or I could put it in the form x equals 1 half plus or minus the square root of 11 over 2. Both are the same thing, a little bit different form, but using the quadratic equation. All right, starts off with knowing it. And then it, understanding A, B, and C come from standard form, plugging in the numbers, be careful with the discriminant.